Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode in the series here. My name is Dominic and I am the host of the Android Factory. Last episode we went ahead and finished up our mapping layer here to go ahead and make use of the episode mapper, passing in our episode response from the API. And we just simply map the uh, response to a domain model and now that fills out on our character domain model the episode list here that we have a list of episodes which is pretty simple right it doesn't have too too much uh, information here some name air date and then uh, episode it's a weird thing but it's like season 01 episode 01 kind of thing so now at this point uh, when we go ahead and click on a particular character we don't present this information on the screen here but I'm thinking that we left off with the understanding that we were going to go ahead and create a horizontally scrolling list somewhere on the screen here. If you've seen some of the earlier content on this season, you know that this list here or this screen here is actually an epoxy recycler view. It's actually built in a list fashion. Uh, it's a static list, but it is built dynamically, which is helpful. And traditionally, when you would want a horizontally scrolling list in here somewhere, we would need another nested recycler view or something along those lines with the orientation set to, set to horizontal, and then we'd have to load everything in, and, and it would kind of, uh, it would work, and it would be nice, but it would be a little clunky in the sense that it would be a lot to manage, especially if you had multiple scrolling lists uh, within the overarching vertical scrolling list. Epoxy makes this a lot easier by using something called the carousel, model so we're going to go ahead and make use of that I'm just going to come up with a very simple UI here for our um, element and I will come back when that's all done Okay, so welcome back everybody. Gone ahead and just created a simple UI here where we have a card view that just wraps some information here. We're gonna have a little text view here for our episode name or I guess number, season, whatever it is. Uh, a little divider and then some information that we have on the actual episode. So uh, we'll see how this looks. We might need to spruce it up later, but it is just text. So there's only so many ways that you can go ahead and uh, create that. And so flipping back here to our epoxy controller, we're gonna go ahead and create an epoxy model as we normally would. So I'm just gonna call this here the episode carousel item. It's going to take an episode. And then we are going to extend our view binding Kotlin model, which has the view binding of the model uh, episode carousel item. We feed it the layout that it's expecting and then we override our bind function here so very simply just linking up the data to the UI here I believe it was called episode text view dot text equals episode dot episode this is a little weird I don't like the name of this field but hey we'll deal with it and then the episode details text view dot text is going to be the episode uh, dot name and then we'll have a new line and then we will have our episode dot error date right there so we'll end up with hopefully something that looks like this with a little bit better uh, name there and so that's about it we've created this carousel item same as usual, right? It's just a regular Kotlin epoxy model here. Nothing has changed. However, 
instead of going ahead and adding our information to the epoxy model this way, we can go ahead and make use of the carousel item. So, uh, just want to see. So I'm thinking right under the image here, we're going to go ahead and just have our list of episodes. So we can say if the character dot episode list uh, is not empty, we're going to go ahead and add this section of the UI here. So this will be the episode list carousel list section. Great. So in order to make use of the carousel model here, you can see that it is built in. So we can say carousel model here, and then we can go ahead and add some information. So first we're going to have to create a model list here. So we're going to need to say, let's call it items. It's going to equal the characters episode list. Going to go ahead and map this here to a list of episode carousel item epoxy model. We're going to have to pass in the episode there. And then all we need to do is define a, uh, an ID here for the carousel item. So we're not going to do you know, any add to this or anything like that. We're just simply going to convert the list of episodes that exists on our character model to an episode carousel item epoxy model list. Then in here inside of our models, we can very easily just say items. And then there's a few other attributes here that we can make use of before we call this add to this as the controller here. One very interesting attribute here is the number of views to show on screen. And this takes a float. So for right now, we're going to leave it at 2.5. And let's go ahead and just run this and see where we are. Okay, and we're back here. For you, there wasn't much of a break, but for me, that was probably about a half hour of debugging a very weird network issue that I will get into in the next episode where we're gonna go ahead and talk about uh, logging and, and getting some information about the network requests uh, either in the debugger here or uh, in a whole other application that's super useful. But uh, I realized here, like every other model here, we need to add an ID so that epoxy you know works. Um, so we're just gonna call this here the episode carousel. And then we're just gonna rerun some things here. But yeah, the important thing here is essentially we're adding one particular model. That's why we need the ID. But that model internally has the ability to handle multiple models, which is just super useful. Uh, it already lays it out in a horizontally scrolling list for you. So there's just a couple things that it takes care of with a little bit of customization that you can provide to it. So if we take a look here, hmm. Okay, so that doesn't look very good. Uh, but it is working. So give me a second here. I'm going to just clean this up really quickly. Okay, so we've quickly just defined a float value here of 1.15. And now you can see here that it looks like we have one and then 15% of the next element here that's on the screen. You can see there is a nice little, you know, snapper there so that it kind of sits and settles an element on whichever uh, is most scrolled to. So that's just, again, something that comes out of the box. You could see that you can definitely fling it. Uh, you probably fling it a little bit better if you weren't on an emulator, but uh, then it just settles to a particular view here. So that's super convenient. You can kind of see it bleeding off the edge here and off the edge here. So you can see that you're in the middle of a particular list. And with that, we have a horizontally scrolling list, a carousel uh, of these different episode information here, or this data here for each episode. Uh, it does kind of, scale a little bit here, which is good to see. Uh, but obviously we can come up with a little bit better of a UI here. I just threw something together because I didn't know what else to do or how else to present it. So we're gonna run with it for now. Uh, one thing I do wanna kinda add is a little header element here and maybe push it down from this element above. So let me just clean that up for you. Okay, and with a little bit of work here, we've gone ahead and added a title epoxy model where we can just very easily uh, denote what text we want to display and it's just quite simply a text view that sits here with a little bit of padding and whatnot or margin excuse me to move it from the left and top so now it's starting to come together it kind of looks more like a UI and you can see here it's kind of its own designated section so that's uh, that looks good yeah I think I'm gonna end the episode here if you're enjoying the content please leave a like I do apologize that this isn't the most beautiful thing to look at here as far as in the UI goes, 
but it is uh, a horizontally scrolling list. It does present this information, and I think we can kind of you know handle an on-click here per episode to go to another episode detail screen if we wanted to, uh, and then do something there with a little bit more networking and, and data modeling and stuff like that. So again, please leave a like if you made it this far. Really appreciate it. Do subscribe if you are not already so you don't miss out on the content that is to come. And uh, yeah, I'll catch it in the next one. Thanks.